Number 1 Palais de Ducks and the Musée de Beaux-Arts In the UNESCO-listed historic center of Dijon, the Palais de Ducks et de Etats de Bourgogne, Ducal Palace, was the residence of the Dukes of Burgundy in the 15th and 16th centuries. Renovations in the 17th century transformed the building into a refined neoclassical palace that recalls the Chateau de Versailles, designed by the same architect, Jules Hardou and Manset. Number 2 Cathedral Saint Benign The Cathedral Saint Benign in the historic center is the city's finest example of Burgundian Gothic architecture, built between 1280 and 1314 and originally a Benedictine Abbey church. The cathedral was dedicated to Saint Benign, who was martyred in Dijon in the late 2nd century. Number 3 Église Notre Dame Built between 1230 and 1250, the Église Notre Dame is the Grande Dame of Dijon churches. In the historic center, near the Ducal Palace, the building exemplifies Burgundian Gothic architecture, with a striking façade featuring three rows of whimsical gargoyles and a marvelous high-vaulted interior. Number 4 Musée de la Vie Bourguignon the Musée de la Vie Bourguignon, Museum of Burgundian Life, occupies the former Monastère de Bernadines, a splendid 17th-century monastery in Dijon's historic center. The monastery includes multiple buildings, courtyards, a cloister, and gardens. Number 5 Chartreuse de Champmol Outside of Dijon's historic center, about a 5-minute drive or 30-minute walk, the Chartreuse de Champmol is the former necropolis of the Dukes of Burgundy. However, the monument was converted into a hospital in the 19th century. Number 6 Dijon Mustard Boutiques and Culinary Stores For gourmands around the world, it is a happy coincidence that the woodland terrain around Dijon provides the ideal conditions for cultivating mustard plants with pungent seeds. Traditional Dijon mustard is created by gently milling the seeds of locally grown mustard plants. Produced here since the 14th century, Dijon mustard is so distinctive that the town's name is synonymous with this gourmet product. Number 7 Parc de l'Arquebus In a more modern area of Dijon outside of the historic center, the Parc de l'Arquebus is a delightful botanical garden with an arboretum and playground. The vast grounds offer an oasis of relaxation in nature. This lush green space is planted with 3,500 species of indigenous and exotic plants including medicinal plants. Number 8 Église Saint-Michel In the center of Dijon, near the Ducal Palace, and classified as a historic monument, the Église Saint-Michel has a distinctive twin-towered facade that harmoniously blends medieval and Renaissance architectural elements. Founded in 1497, the church was constructed over two centuries, which explains the unusual mix of styles. Number 9 Hotel de Vogue in the heart of Dijon's historic center near the Ducal Palace, the Hotel de Vogue is a magnificent hotel particulier, mansion, constructed in 1614 for Etienne Boyer, an advisor of the Bourgogne Parliament. This exquisite example of classical Italian Renaissance architecture incorporates a grand entrance porch and ornately adorned courtyard. Number 10 Musée Magnon The Musée Magnon occupies the Hotel Lantin, another elegant 17th-century hotel particulier in Dijon's historic center. The museum provides a glimpse of a unique private art collection, which belonged to passionate art collectors Jean and Maurice Magnin. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.